Have you ever wondered what it's like to operate the energy source that's within the world's most powerful warships? Well, deep under the ocean or aboard a floating city, the mines that expertly operate within the US Navy's nuclear power program have some of the most elite and demanding careers out there. One of these careers involved the high stakes responsibility of the safety and operation of the nuclear reactor. Hello, my name is Caleb Stewart. I am transitioning from a 10 year career as a Navy nuke, and I am also a member of the content team here on the Navy nuke network, where our goal is to educate current transitioning or previous Navy nukes in the civilian companies that will eventually hire them. Today, we will break down one of the three jobs or ratings within the Navy nuclear power program. We'll discuss what the operators within this job do, their day-to-day -day responsibilities, and how they contribute to the execution of the mission. Now, the central component that connects the three nuclear ratings is, of course, the nuclear reactor. The rating that is responsible for performing the maintenance and operations associated with the reactor are Electronic Technician Nuclear, also known as Nuclear ETs. These ETs are assigned their rating while at boot camp and have the highest standard of academic screening compared to the other ratings. Once these sailors are assigned and they have completed their time at Recruit Training Command, they begin their academic journey at Nuclear Field A School in Goose Creek, South Carolina. Their time in A School lasts for six months. While at A School, these sailors are trained on math, basic electricity, electronics fundamentals, and digital microprocessors. At the completion of these courses, these sailors then take their capstone course, Instrumentation and Control Equipment. During these courses, the future ETs are trained on the fundamental knowledge, concepts, and behaviors that will contribute to the maintenance and operational knowledge that will carry them through the rest of their careers. Once Nuclear Field A School is complete, these sailors graduate as rated Electronics Technician Nuclear and are spot promoted to E4 pay grade. After A School, the ETs begin their next leg of the journey, Nuclear Power School, which is also six months. At Power School, the sailors receive training on the science and engineering fundamentals to the design, operation, and maintenance of Navy nuclear propulsion plants. This training includes courses on nuclear physics, thermodynamics, reactor principles, as well as several other courses. The final stage of training is nuclear prototype. While at prototype, ETs get hands-on training where they learn to operate, maintain, and troubleshoot reactor control instrumentation. This hands-on training environment teaches them to respond to casualties, conduct preventative maintenance, and ensure reactor safety. Additionally, they gain experience in technical documentation and procedural compliance. After the 18 months of training, the nuclear ETs are assigned to serve on an aircraft carrier or a submarine. Once on board, the ET's focus turns to their watchstander and maintenance qualifications. The qualification process for nuclear electronics technician is rigorous and structured. It begins by studying the ship-specific systems and completing a qualification card that covers reactor principles, electrical distribution, and plant operations. Watchstander qualifications are a process where sailors are certified to be responsible for a portion of the engineering plant and that responsibility increases as the sailor qualifies the subsequent watch station. Each position you qualify is a prerequisite step for the next position. The watch standard qualification process for nuclear operators is one of the aspects that make nukes stand out. Immediately after arriving on board their new vessel, nukes receive the qualification card that guides them through this process. The qualification card normally includes oral checkouts, practical factors, examinations, and oral boards. The oral checkout process requires nukes to scour through the references and procedures that support the equipment operation and watchstander actions for that particular watch station. The sailor then is required to verbally and correctly display that knowledge to more senior sailors and earn their verifying signature. Qualifying sailors are also required to perform practical evolutions that relate to the watch station that they are qualifying for while being monitored by senior personnel. Sailors qualifying also have to pass a written examination to verify the sailor's level of knowledge when it comes to procedural steps, mathematical equations, and system set points. And finally, the qualification of the watch station is completed by performing an oral board with senior personnel, including an officer who signs off on the sailor's ability to perform the watch station responsibilities. The whole process requires coordinating schedules and prioritizing time management 
and the ability to communicate effectively. These skills that are learned allow for the success of nukes while they are in the Navy, but also in other technical and engineering environments when they transition. The maintenance qualifications mirror a similar track, where ETs go from being just a reader for an evolution, then the worker, and then finally the maintenance supervisor, where they are responsible for the proper execution of the maintenance and the understanding of how each stage of the maintenance affects the total engineering plan. This watchstanding and maintenance training structure creates technicians that build a foundational understanding of how their systems work and operate, as well as the leadership skills that are invaluable in the Navy, as well as in other technical fields. Throughout their time on board, ETs attend training sessions, work closely with experienced personnel, and demonstrate their knowledge through written exams, oral boards, and practical performance evaluations. The final step of qualification for ETs is a comprehensive oral qualification board where they must confidently answer questions from senior personnel, including the commanding officer of that platform. Once qualified, they are authorized to stand watch independently, playing a crucial role in the safe and efficient operation of the ship's nuclear propulsion plant. All nuclear operators are held to a high standard of procedural compliance and attention to detail but this standard is even more heightened for nuclear ETs due to the direct correlation of their job and the safe operation of the nuclear reactor. Every step of every procedure and operation must be followed to the letter. The paperwork and admin that ETs generate is evaluated and scrutinized, whether it be the amount of significant digits that represent a value or the discernment of a specific written letter or character. ETs must be perfect in the execution of their jobs and responsibilities because the safe operation of the reactor and the personnel on board depends on it. From operating advanced reactor systems to solving complex electrical and instrumentation issues, nuclear electronics technicians are at the heart of naval nuclear power, whether standing watch in the reactor plant, performing critical maintenance, or responding to real-time system challenges. ETs play a vital role in ensuring the safe and efficient operation of some of the most powerful ships in the world. The discipline and knowledge they gain don't just make them valuable in the Navy, they set them up for a lifetime of success in the civilian nuclear industry, engineering industries, and beyond. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.